Well, what made you decide on King Kong for a place like Birmingham? Uh, well, I thought something figurative and something recognisable would be more appealing. The really good thing about it was everybody had a firm opinion of it. It wasn't a piece of concrete with a hole in that was supposed to be uh, aesthetically pleasing or something. You either liked it or you hated it. That's something different in a way to look at. Well, how do, how do you think King Kong is city orientated? Well, as when you think of King Kong, you think of New York. And as I must. I hadn't really compared Birmingham with New York until I came in on the train this morning, actually, and it did look quite like New York. We haven't looked it all over yet. <laughs> oh, I'll just read them with. Do you think it's the sort of thing we could have in Birmingham, yeah? It's different. Yeah. That's a bit of life. Now you lads are up there, what's it all about? Well, there's a national building strike on at the moment in support of Thursday bang for 35 hours. Today we've got a demonstration of the building workers. They'll be marching round by here about 20 past 11, half 11. And this is sort of a humorous publicity to give a bit of a humour into a grim situation. Hey, listen. They have the ladder. Oh. This is the property of the people of Birmingham. It's the property of the town. This is the property of the town. Shanley bought King Kong for £2,000 and set up the King Kong Car Company. The first day it was there, busloads of people going past pointing and laughing at 7 o'clock in the morning. It was absolutely fantastic. A second hand car from this man. The man in question is King Kong. At one time, the scourge of the silver screen, he then became a figure of art in the centre of Birmingham. Now he's been demoted to selling second-hand cars. The man who bought King Kong is Mr. Mike Shanley. Mike, why have you bought King Kong? He's a bit terrifying. Are you trying to scare your customers into buying cars? No, I think he'll be a good publicity agent for me, and he'll bring more customers here. Uh, he doesn't frighten little children when he was. Well, he didn't frighten little children when he was in the bull ring, so he's hardly going to frighten them here. Paid almost three thousand pounds. Do you think it's a good buy for the money? Uh, I think so. Uh, I'm sure he'll bring people here. As you, you've only got to look at the cars and buses going past. You see the people turning their heads. Everybody looks at
started getting back when we were setting up this classic car business here. And he wouldn't sell it for £100,000 because he sells King Kong t-shirts, King Kong ice cream. It's a centre of attraction. It was just a replica of a big gorilla. And it was made for Birmingham. And it should have stayed here.